Hello, my beautiful spies. This is a collective consciousness read, and I will be your spy guide. Not guy, but guide. <laughs> Let's get into your read. I was asked, actually, on one of the previous collectives, what does that mean? What does collective mean? Well, this means that this video, this reading, may resonate with you regardless of your sign. So this is for anybody and everybody that maybe you felt led to watch this. And it may hold a message for you, no matter the time. So it's also whenever you really get this. What do we have here for the consciousness, the collective, please, for the messages? What are they going through? How can we help guide? The consciousness. Death rights. How can we help guide the collective consciousness? Pray. So it's never really over, is it? Never really over. Energetic ties here, guys. That kind of rhymed. We have the energetic ties. All right, definitely a great energy to have on the back of the deck. Ecstasy, yielding, rapture, bliss. 27 is a nine in numerology. Ooh. Something about your, your dreams, your fantasies, your wishes, your hopes, things that you're aspiring to. What else is also interesting is this is about a situation that would be your wish fulfillment. However, given we have these three cards, it appears to me that there are, there's trouble in paradise, okay? So I will break this down for you, this trouble in paradise here. We have death rites number 11, saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. Pray. Very creepy. Creepy. Stalked, invaded, watched. Transgression. Mm -hmm. Flaws, contradictions, mistake. 41 is a 5. Okay. So we have 31 with a 4 as well. Four, five, nine, and eleven. Mm. So, as dates for some of you, this can have to do with around spring. Mostly around springtime. Maybe for you, spring could be significant. It doesn't have to be. It can be previous or future as well. But never mind that. There is a wish and a hope and a dream. Um, the wish fulfilled, right? But we have a... I was going to say condition here. We have the condition here where there's been an ending, guys. Some people are splitting. They're splitting from someone that was meant to be a happy type of situation, something that was very fulfilling to you at one point or another, or something that you thought would be. We have the prey card and the transgression card. This makes me feel like some of you guys have ended it with somebody, yet their energy is still around one way or another. This can indicate that someone is actually watching you, quite literally, um, can be in person as well, somebody you've ended it with. They are watching you. They're looking for signs of you. Some of you, it may be a fire sign with that King of Wands energy. They could be looking at your social media. Also, you may want to... Um, you may want to... Become private if you're worried about that. People checking up on you or whatever the case if you don't want them in your business. Because there is someone who could be doing that. And 
the thing is about this card is a lot of times it's signifying someone, it's indicating someone who is not respecting boundaries, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. So with this transgression card, someone has made a mistake here. And because there's been a mistake in a situation, not only that led up to the split, but there's also a mistake after the split. And that means that someone feels it was a mistake to end the situation, the relationship, okay? So if someone is not happy about this and they're watching from afar, watching someone they care about, but maybe was, were not completely wonderful or great to, and now they could be fantasizing about them, about you, if this is them toward you. I cannot shuffle for the life of me right now. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's do this. I don't know what's going on. All right. Oh my gosh, really? I don't know what's up with these cards right now. Is it me or the cards? I can't tell sometimes. Um, lots of solar plexus, heart chakra involved. Okay. Someone is trying to draw back their energy, but you have cords definitely actually solar plexus area this is something that may be karmic like a some type of debt that needs settling um some type of situation that needs healing okay what's going on here for the collective all right we get the sun as soon as i ask three cards come out i love it <laughs> Ooh. Honey, we got the Seven of Swords as the overall. Um, definitely not the best card. I feel like you may know this, okay? Somebody here has become free from a situation that they actually really liked, that they felt was a very happy situation at one time. They've become freed from a situation yes i feel there could be some truth involved if there was truth that someone actually knows the truth that may not even be spoken it could have to do with a type of mistake I feel somebody also sneaking away with that Seven of Swords. It feels like somebody snuck away and they feel like it's the right thing to do. There may be a person who is going to feel much better very soon after this ending also. All right, show me partner A, which is the collective. I'm calling you guys partner A. I'm going to call partner love interest partner B. It can be other relationships in your life, neighbor, friend, family member, somebody at work, what have you. Can go back and forth at times and can be vice versa. I trust if this is your read, you'll know. Also, I'm going to call this love for the sake of the read. All right. Just to make it more clear, show me partner A, please, spirit. Somebody felt like they really had to end a situation probably because of some sneakiness that ensued. The Queen of Wands. Hello. Oh. And the High Priestess. Okay. Queen of Wands, wow, and the High Priestess. Some of you guys may be a very strong spiritualist. We did see, so far, Pisces. We saw two fire signs. We saw, yeah, Leo and Scorpio. It doesn't have to. It can be a placement or an energy. So collective, you're coming out with the Queen of Wands with the High Priestess. 
I feel like you're going after something. You're moving in silence. You have um, harnessed a type of chaos. And you're channeling it toward what you're looking for, which may be this Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Wow. Some of you with that Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands, someone could be coming into your home life situation here. Could be making a visit. But also, you could be noticing that, wow, sometimes my happiness is fleeting. It comes and goes. My fulfillment comes and goes. Right now, you may be actually experiencing it getting a lot better with this Six of Swords energy and the Eight of Wands. Your home life could be on the up and up, your emotional fulfillment as well. Some of you may receive a type of conversation from someone who wants to heal. Hmm. Show me partner love interest here. The Emperor. Woo. All right. That's Aries Scorpio for me. And the Fool. This is somebody who is very driven. But at this time, they don't know the results of what they're getting themselves into. They could have freed themselves from something. As well as now could be considering a new path. A way that they may not have considered before. Looking at their situation with fresh eyes. They don't know completely what they're getting themselves into, but they know that they are going to control the situation as soon as necessary and make moves toward their destination and what they want. Big miss. What's this? Eight of Cups. This could be somebody who's come and gone as well. We have the Queen of Cups here. Three of Swords and the Five of Swords. The higher font. There was a relationship here. They are experiencing a type of ending a painful one, okay? They dislike being taken advantage of or taking advantage of people. Nevertheless, that is exactly what's going on here. You may have somebody here who feels like they've been taken advantage of, perhaps by somebody who seems to be overbearing. What's going on? The Queen of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot. Where are you going with that? Oh, moving on after a brutal ending, probably, with some deception involved. Show me the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Wands. The Temperance. And the Knight of Wands. Definitely, I feel like there is a message, guys. There's a message coming in quickly about a relationship. Perhaps um, achieving balance and success surrounding this. What is the Chariot, the Temperance about? Wanting a happy ending here. Or you're making moves toward that now. And you're whatever you're leaving behind here, collective, oh yeah, the Ace of Swords, you've put in a lot of work. You could have felt burdened by other people's situations. You're tired. You have your idea in mind now. You may not have expressed all of your plans. You could be moving in silence, but you're definitely going toward something that you believe in. It's something that you want that you feel like is going to be a lot more healthy for you. Some of you, there can be a Cancer or a Sagittarius that this involves. It doesn't have to. Um, you feel like you have to do this. You, you just have to. And this is just for the best is basically what I'm getting from your energy there. 
and actually you may be right as well so there's been some endings and you are just so ready to move on to see what else you can achieve to see some better things you may actually have people helping you here helping you achieve what you're going after what's going on with this emperor queen of cups please Strength card. What's going on with Queen of Cups? Three of Swords. Five of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. And the King of Wands. All right. What is this strength? The Five of Pentacles. The Death card. And the Justice. Okay. So this person is feeling kind of uh, miserable, to be honest. And they're trying to manage all their feelings that they're feeling about this they feel like they've also been betrayed here they feel like they've been betrayed partner b here has experienced an ending that they didn't expect probably partner a you could have just left not without reason but this person does not fully understand Partner B here is trying to convince themselves that this is for the best, that it was supposed to happen this way. You also have, who do we have here? Cancer, Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Libra. They're miserable, guys. Absolutely miserable about what's happened here. What does Partner B want with Partner A, please? What does partner B want with partner A? I feel like there are good days ahead. What does partner B want with partner A, please? Mm. Partner B feels like they've been victimized. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, wow. They want this to end, but they're feeling miserable as well. They do want this to end. Um, they're kind of confused. They have a lot of bad, negative feelings about this and maybe even about you, partner A. They're saying they've been betrayed. They didn't get the right treatment here. Oh yeah, they were not treated properly, yep. And so this is why this has happened. Explain to me this Three of Swords, please. What's this Three of Swords about? They're hurt and wanting to be single, but also wanting a reconciliation. They want to make something right, whatever argument this was, where... You know, there might have been some word games or mean things said here. But at the same time, they're thinking about the past. Why are they thinking about the past with this Six of Cups? And then we have two single cards and a Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're really trying to investigate the pain and heartbreak here. Try to figure out how to move on independently. At the same time, they harbor resentment. This person is very resentful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Feel like they've been left alone let's see what partner a wants with partner b what does partner a want with partner b you want to hold back with the four of pentacles you're holding back from this person you may not want to talk to them you don't want to argue as well you're trying to gain back your, not stamina, your, the way you appear, your inner strength, you're kind of, you're kind of acting like it is not bothering you. And if they try to message you, you may hold back or not be as available here with that four of pentacles. You don't want to be involved. You feel you're better off that way. Yeah, you don't want to be involved. You feel better off single 
with your nine of pentacles a lot of people are going through this on my on the channel guys on this spy channel a lot of people are wanting to be single on the spy channel um some of the collective reads have been like this i know one thing for sure though you do have great things coming up ahead of you and i feel like you're almost convinced of that as well and that's why there's a juxtaposition here with all this ending and someone really hoping to make this better and them watching you, partner A, feeling like this is a mistake to end this. They're also very bitter and um, victimized and resentful. But we still have a happy release with that ecstasy card yielding rapture and bliss. This is also reminding me of the Sun card because both of these cards can indicate a very happy situation coming from a bad situation. If you are partner B and you're the one being left and betrayed, do know that better days are ahead here. And this is absolutely temporary. For you. Let's see what's ahead for partner B here. Let's see what is ahead for partner B. What is ahead for partner B? Outcome for partner B. They are still feeling. Yes. Okay. High Priestess. They're feeling like they're not cared for. They still have the Seven of Cups. Um, partner B feels like this is very severe, what's happened here. They really do feel like something has bad, bad has happened to them, and maybe it has. They feel like they didn't want this to happen. This isn't fair, etc. Um, they also don't like the fact that if you are not co not commenting, if you are not responding to this person or you're not talking to this person, they don't think that's right as well because they're confused and they want to understand. They're trying not to care at this point, but it's kind of hard considering all the emotions. We also have Venus Scorpio here. What is the outcome for partner A, please? Yeah, you're still going to hold back with the four of pentacles. Oh yeah, moving forward, you're holding back. Maybe you guys will be focused on work. Um, you don't actually have solid plans for what you'll do concerning this situation. You just know they are going to be holding back for the time being. Mm -hmm. nurturing, self-care. Some of you guys may be um, talking to someone with Capricorn in their chart. Three of Wands that you may be waiting for. Um, so the person who feels left and victimized, they are going to, they're not done, guys. They're not done. There will be, yeah, in the future. This person is not going to give up here with wanting some type of understanding or needing a type of understanding. And they may be a little bit combative with um, the words they say, but they are truly hurt and don't understand, is basically, what's going on here. Yeah, they're confused. They're... They feel like they're crazy or they feel like they're going crazy, like not understanding and basically. So what is partner A? How about this? What's the outcome? No, we already did that as outcome for both. I feel like this person, um, whoever's been victimized here or feels like they've been victimized, they're going to continue to reach out or try to get answers in one way or another. You may have, um, they want it to change, but... They also are of two minds because they feel like it might have been the right thing as well. I feel like the emotions are what's clouding them. Okay, let's do some advice guidance for the collective. How to best deal with this situation? What can we expect moving forward? Uh-huh, okay. Um, we're going to actually do... This is... Thank you, Spirit. We're going to do some for partner A and some for partner B here, okay? Because I was just guided to do so. That's interesting. Okay, Partner A, please. 
Advice, guidance, what can we expect for partner A? You're doing the right thing, I suppose, with the yes card, but get more information to make sure. Yes, get more information. Also to um, be clear properly. Properly, probably. Show me partner A, please. Yes, let go. And if you were looking for a sign, this is it, pretty much. Don't stop. There you go. There you go. You're doing the right thing, and I feel like you know it. I'm sorry, partner B. <laughs> Show me partner B, please. Show me partner B. Show me. Remain positive. The answer is no for partner B and remain positive, but be assertive. Be assertive, not passive nor aggressive. You'll have success if you remain positive here. It's not saying toward what, but take action. Okay, what do you need to do? That's very interesting. What do you need to do to achieve your success is probably to remain positive. The thing is, it's saying no. So you probably aren't feeling very positive at this time, which makes sense. We did see that spread. So let's get some more advice guidance here. Advice guidance. But also that the answer is no, perhaps for um, maybe the situation or something or whatever you're trying to do here. But remain positive and take action for your success in the best direction. Show me partner A, please. Advice guidance for partner A. Yes, there are romantic feelings. Yes, let go, but also um, there are heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Maybe you have to explain that you're letting go. Look for a sign from children. There's chemistry. You guys may have something new coming up for you. If you're looking for a sign for um, children, then there it is. Okay, I just saw deception. I don't know why. Um, if you're looking for a sign, if you're like trying to have children or something about your children, it's here. It looks pretty positive. I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but it can also indicate a new beginning. So um, if you were looking for a sign that you will have your new beginning, it is here, yes. Absolutely. And to be more childlike. Um, and understanding with your heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. Also, you guys may have children involved and it's causing some kind of um, problems or whatever it is for you. What's going on for partner B? Advice, guidance, please moving forward. What can we expect? Free yourself, okay. Okay, I feel like it's saying don't remain positive about this situation because of the read that came out. It's very interesting. Okay, show me advice, guidance for this person. So you could feel trapped at this time, guys. I get it. Like, if your partner be here, remain positive. You'll have new love. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Show me partner B, please. If you remain positive and free yourself, you will have new love. And you will attract success. So you need to start attracting and flirt. Oh, wow. This is so interesting. Apparently, you could be very attractive as well. Okay, guys? Um, you will have success with what you're trying to attract. It may not be this situation. Okay? Just saying. Because you have new love here. You also have a new opportunity. So remain positive about your new opportunities in life. As soon as you free yourself, you will have success. As soon as you get out of that mental mind prison. Um, as soon as you... Um, Make yourself a victor as opposed to a victim and take this as an experience to become better. That's how you will release this, being trapped there. And then see the unicorn, you can achieve your dreams. Basically, once you get free, you're kind of st stifling your potential. You understand? I love you guys so very much. Please hit the like if you like it. Let's do... Should we do anything? No, I think this is it, guys. This is it. Yeah, definitely. I love you guys. 
please hit the like totally helps out around here check out instagram comment let me know your sign down below represent your sign i am i love seeing you guys put your signs down there or maybe like emojis depicting your sign so cute <laughs> i love it so much and i'm just curious as well as well as leave comments if you want to if you're going through a spiritual awakening, as I know a lot of people are, feel free to comment about it and perhaps hopefully other people can help provide some kind of guidance or some kind of clarity at the very least. I don't know. I just know that I've been seeing a lot of comments lately where people are feeling kind of lost or confused. And so just comment. I don't know. We can have like a community or something. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It's a community. I love you guys. I hope to see you next time. Kisses. Bye.